So hello from Germany. We finally made it here this morning. We're still feeling a little jet lagged and disoriented, but we got here in the morning. We picked up a car at the airport. We've driven down to a place called Spreewald, which is the, the spray forest. And we're just going to spend the next couple of days checking out the area, just visiting the canals. This is a great place for nature and apparently also cucumbers. So we're going to be taking in the sights, sampling some food and showing you guys around. So let's go check out the village. So right now we are checking out the Freiland Museum Lede which is a cool outdoor open-air museum and basically they have these old homes that date back to the 19th century and you can see what life was like during that time period so we're going to be walking through learning about their customs their traditions and i think it's going to make us really thankful for the time period we live in right now So what are we doing next? It's time to play some kids games from the 19th century and I have a feeling this is going to make us look very uncoordinated. What are you doing, Audrey? I'm trying not to fall. <laughs> that's that's the goal of this game. So the old to put them closer together. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's a lot harder than it looks. Then. <laughs> Let's see you walk across the whole field like that. <laughs> You want to try it? Okay, ready to demonstrate some 19th century games? Okay, we're actually going to do something I know how to do. This is a potato sack race. I did this as a kid. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Gonna try washing uh, clothes by hand here. Do the laundry the traditional Sorbian way. What do I do? <laughs> Just get it wet. It's actually, it's a traditional 19th century way. Oh. <laughs> 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 no washing machine. Yeah. No. Everyone was doing it like <laughs> that. <laughs> Just yeah. rub up and down. Okay. You can use this one to to get all the spots quite oh. clean. Oh. Scrub real hard, Audrey. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Scrub as hard as you can. Put some elbow grease into that. I have a feeling this was very <laughs> time consuming. They yeah. probably spent the whole day washing. <laughs> to be visiting a few different homes in this open-air museum and they really vary in size and character so this is one of the cool ones let's go in and peruse so inside this home we have the wedding planner wearing a very beautiful elaborate suit gown kind of deal if you follow me over here we can see people getting ready for a wedding and apparently the bride would have worn black and green not white because white was considered the color of mourning so that was a lot of fun i think we're just about ready to leave the open air museum and we'll see what else we can find A cucumber museum it's a little bit quirky and we're going to be looking at how pickles are produced and the history behind them area they have a festival where they select 
the cucumber queen and basically these girls come and present their recipes of their pickled cucumbers and whoever has the best tasting one wins and she's crowned for the year and her recipe is made available throughout the area so we actually have the winning recipe wow last year right in here so we should probably try these out hey oh yeah and it looks like this one may contain a little bit of mustard in the sauce or in the water. So I'm just gonna fish out. A fish piece one of out. Cucumber or pickle. This is what it looks like. Let me zoom in here. Keep it steady. Okay. And let's try it. Mmm. Cool. So it's nice and salty, a little bit bitter, I would say. Mm. It kind of reminds me of sauerkraut a little bit. It's nice, look. Like, I know I'm scrunching up my face, but I am enjoying the flavor, <laughs> rest assured. So I get to try the pickle from the winning recipe. Let's check it out. Mmm. This one's a lot sweeter. I really like it. So after all that sightseeing, I'd say it's time for dinner. This is where we're going to eat today and it looks like a beautiful setting. Come on! So my meal has arrived and it looks so amazing. I think I'm not even going to share it with Sam. That's this so is mean. No, it's not. <laughs> this is my pike perch. It's on a bed of sautéed vegetables. And I also have a nice little um, baked potato here with some kind of sauce with dill. Oh, that looks like a very generous mm, amount of That maybe. looks amazing. So I'm just going to dig right in. Yeah. Wonderful. I need a knife. So good. I'm starving in case you can't tell. Even though I've eaten like four times today. Bottomless pit over here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. How's that? The fish is perfection. The skin is nice and crispy. Buttery. It's just so good. Juicy on the inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I can tell you're enjoying it. You don't want to talk anymore. No, I just want to eat. <laughs> Also, mine looks pretty good. I've got boar schnitzel, which is down here. La la. And sauerkraut here. Mm -hmm. And a kind of mashed potato over here. With horseradish. With horseradish. All right. Let's try the schnitzel. Ooh, look at that. It's really good schnitzel. So, what does boar schnitzel taste like? has a rich, a little bit of a gamey taste, mm -hmm. but the thing I really like about this schnitzel is just the coating they put over top of it. It's really crispy. Yum. So we just finished an absolutely wonderful meal and we are feeling stuffed. We're also feeling a little bit jet lagged, so I think we're going to call it a day and just go get some rest and we'll see you tomorrow.